Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to see how we can create a app promotion campaign inside the Facebook ads account. So we can use Facebook ads guys to promote our mobile app so that we can drive a lot of app downloads for our business. So with the help of this, we are able to show ads, which when people click on it, they can install our mobile apps and they can do business with us. So for that purpose, guys, we can run a campaign on Facebook. So to build out this kind of a campaign, we can start creating it from here where the campaign objective can be app promotion. Now, in this case, as you can see that we will be requiring people, we are driving optimization for app installs and app events. So you will have to also link your particular app with Facebook ads account and the business manager, and then we can create such kind of a campaign. If we don't link the particular app with our Facebook ads and business manager, then this campaign will optimize for link clicks. So make sure we have done the linking so that it optimizes for app installs or app events. Once that is done, then we can create this campaign, start building it out. So there are two options for this. One can be an advantage plus app campaign, which will be an automated campaign where are some preset settings will be there, which we can use and we can create the campaign much more easier way. The other option is manual app installs campaign, wherein we will set up all the settings from scratch. So let's have a look at this. So when you start building out this kind of a campaign, you have to start off with the campaign level where you can name the campaign first. And then we can choose our campaign details, which is going to be the case wherein we are using the buying type as option. Campaign objective is app promotion because we want to promote our app for app downloads. Other than that, we can also give a campaign spending limit. Okay, if we want to, uh, we can also want, if we want, we can switch on the iOS 14 plus campaign option or A-B testing and campaign budget optimization if we want to do it at this particular stage. Other than that, we can just save this and now we can go to the next part which is going to be the ad set level. In the ad set level, we can name the ad set and now we can attach our app over here. As you can see, so wherever you have registered your app, the platforms, let's say Google Play or App Store, we can choose that particular platform and now you can search for your app in this particular manner and link it to the campaign, to the ad set. Apart from that, we can also define the performance goals. So in this case, since we are looking for maximizing for app install, so you can choose the performance goal as that. And we can give a, if we want, we can give a cost per result goal as well, which is the average amount of money we would like to spend to get those installs. So initially you can leave this as is. Later on, once you start getting installations or downloads, then we can put this amount as well to control the cost. Once you do this, then we are coming to the budget and schedule level. So here you can define how much average daily budget can you spend on a per day basis for this campaign. And then we can give the start date, end date for this campaign. Once you provide that, we can come to the audience controls where you can do location targeting. So here you can go ahead and choose your locations in this particular manner. And you can also do your audience targeting out here. So again, Facebook gives you two options. One is going to be advantage plus audience, which is a case wherein they will automatically find our audience and find relevant placements to show our ads on, or else we can go ahead and switch to original audience as well, where we define the audience manually. So when we start man manually doing audience targeting, so all these options gets open, which is age, so we can choose the age category in this particular way. We can also do gender targeting and demographics, interest and behavior targeting as well. So here we can choose our demographics and income sources as well in this particular manner. So that becomes our demographic targeting. And then if we want, we can also do interest-based targeting or let's say behavior-based targeting as well which we can do out here. So once you have done your audience targeting guys, then we can move forward and we can go to the ad level, the creative level, 
and create the ad for this. So now you can see we are coming to this page where we can build out the ad. We can select our Facebook page first. And now we can go ahead and upload an image also. We can add a media file. So we can upload a lot of media file, whichever is relevant for us. We can go ahead and do that. As you can see in this manner, the creatives will get made and now you can use them out here. Once you provide the images, which we are going to use, you can provide the primary text. So you can give the headlines, descriptions, In this particular way, you can also, since it's an app download, which is happening, so we can keep the call to action as install now. And since it's an app, so we can also go ahead and give a deep link if you want to. Deep links are going to be specific sections of the app where you want people to land. So that can be used for app events, particularly. Now, apart from that, you can also specify the language targeting or and tracking which we have done so that we can track all the app downloads which happens from here. So these are all the details guys which we can give and now you can see a preview of the ads how they are going to look like okay which we can use across Facebook placements. This is how it is going to come up and when people click on these ads they are taken to the Google Play Store where they can install the app from there. This is how guys, we are able to go ahead and create a particularly a Facebook app promotion campaign, which we can make, and then we can use it for driving app downloads for our businesses. I hope this makes sense and you understand the complete process of how to build out this campaign. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today and I will see you in the next video.